Uh, just another win for us, a sweep, you know, against a very good team. So, um, you know, we wanted to keep it rolling today. I was able to come out and, you know, get us a win. But uh, the guys won the bats early, played some great defense. You know, Gary called a great game, and um, we were able to get the sweep. Just the 14th player in Major League history to have two, 250 wins, 3,000-plus strikeouts. When you look at some of the company in that group, what do you think? Uh, it's crazy, you know, to, to put my name up there with some of those those guys that I idolized and, you know, some of those – those names that are like, you know, enshrined in baseball history, you know, and to be a part of that, um, you know, it's, it's a big deal. It's, it's, a, it's fun to, to have those numbers, I guess. Aaron Boone just said, you're a lock as a Hall of Famer. I know you don't like to talk about it while you're still playing that much, but to, just to hear people say that about you and your career is, what do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I mean, it means a lot. And, you know, I was talking to Sweeney, you know, I think last year and, um, you know, just for, to have somebody mention your career as being a Hall of Fame career means a lot. So, um, you know, I've been best blessed to, you know, play with some, on some great teams, just being around some great organizations, some great players, and, um, you know, a lot of it just rubbed off. So, um, yeah, I mean, it feels good to, to, to have those numbers again. Left side, Kenny on third row. CC, does it make it more special to have this to complete a sweep against your your top rival yeah for sure um i think that's the biggest thing is you know coming out today and getting that sweep um especially the way we did you know um you know getting that 12 to 1 win you know making a statement that uh you know we're a pretty good team and we want to keep going and also i'm sure you would have preferred to do this in your first shot at, at 250 but to do it here in new york with your family all here is that does that make it extra special? Yes, yeah, it's extra special for sure. I mean, um, you know, having my kids be old enough to, you know, really recognize and know what, what's going on and, you know, what I'm trying to do um, means a lot. Um, obviously, having kids so young was hard, <laughs> but having them around now and being able to enjoy these special moments means a lot. Thank you. Brian, on the far right. See, this was your fourth try at it. How much was this kind of weighing on you, and, and were you thinking about it? Uh, to be honest, none. I mean, it was just, you know, not not putting up good games and, you know, ha having a team chance to win is the biggest thing. Um, you know, I told you guys earlier, I didn't really care about 250, and, and I really didn't mean that. Um, you know, I just want to go out and, and pitch well and, and uh, help this team help this team win games. Why do you think 3,000 meant more to you than 250? Um, I mean, I guess because to, to get a win, so many things have to go right. You know, I think I feel like when you're striking – when you you know strikeouts is, is kind of you but uh, you know for the team to win it's, it's a team win more so than it is you know yourself so um yeah I, I, I mean i don't know just just one of those things where i you know i feel like when when the team wins or when i win a game it's just because of you know everybody else mark same thing i ask your manager about you i'll ask you how have you been able to do this so well for so long just being blessed, um, for sure. Um, you know, like I said, I, I've been able to play with some great players and have some of those guys rub up on me, like Andy Pettit, you know, Mariano Rivera, Rivera. Just thinking about the second half of my career, learning the cutter and, you know, where that's taken me. Um, you know, if I hadn't learned that pitch in 2014, I'd probably be out of the game. So to have those two um, willing to help me and willing to tutor me uh, means a lot. And what do you remember about your first win? My first win, I remember I didn't even know I won the game until, <laughs> until Dave Berber came up to me and was like, hey, it's your first win. Um, I think I went five innings, gave up five runs, and um, we scored in the top of the sixth um, to give me the win. You know, I was so young, I hadn't, I hadn't figured all that out yet, you know. So, um, yeah, I just remember not knowing I won the game until Burbs came up to me and was like, hey, congratulations on your first win. Coley in the front. Uh, CC, you were just mentioning that, you know, wins are more of a team kind of a, a, a accolade, so to speak. What does that say about the teams that you've been on that you've had this many? Yeah, I mean, I, I could say that more, you know, about the, the organizations and the teams that I played on. Um, you know, to have this many wins, you know, you got to be on some good teams with those Indian uh, years, playing with some of those guys in that organization. Um, obviously going to Milwaukee, um, you know, and having that run there, but being able to come here and be on some great teams from the start. Um, really allows you to go out and, you know, put up these kind of numbers, I guess. Meredith. Cece, after last start, you talked a lot about the cutter and how it wasn't quite there. The grip felt a little different. What did you do in between starts to kind of find that comfortable grip, and did it feel a lot better this afternoon? Yeah, it felt great today. It felt like it was uh, on the way back. Um, you know, just in between starts, I, I, I sat with the baseball the whole time and just played with my thumb on the ball and, you know, f figured out a good, comfortable spot to kind of, you know, move my thumb 
um, to to get that good feel of you know where I, where I let the ball go, it's gonna cut, um, and I was able to get that done. And you know, two days ago I threw the bullpen and it, the cutter was pretty good. And you know, I was excited about coming out here today. Bob on the far right. That was my question. <laughs> Fantastic, uh, Kenny on the left. CC, um, what goes through your head when you get the six nothing lead in the in the bottom of the first? Um, just it's still so early that um you know that's a great lineup, a great team. So I'm still focused on you know trying to to get the team back in the dugout to um to score more runs. Um, is is what I'm thinking is you know let's have a quick inning you know and and get back uh get back in the dugout and try to put some more pressure on their pitchers. And then in the fifth, I think you thought the fans certainly thought you had strike three on a fam, I believe, and then and they score the run. It, 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 do you have to take a deep breath or anything there? One out before it's an official win. Oh no, I wasn't thinking about none of that. I was just worried about um, you know trying to get out of that inning and having the top of their lineup come up. And you know, Austin Meadows is even though he's a lefty, he's still a good hitter. So um, I was more concerned with just trying to make pitches to get him out than uh, than I really was at you know uh, having the chance to, at the win right then. Great. Uh, CC on the right, second row. Uh, CC Aaron mentioned that he he saw you giving him a big stare when you were walking back from the sixth. Did you really want to go back out there for the seventh? Yeah, for sure. Um, I mean, uh, he caught that right away as I was walking off. You know, I felt um, if I'm out, when I'm out there, you might as well just let me keep going. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I always want to be out there. And, you know, he always asks me how I feel, and I'm always telling him, yeah, I mean, I feel good. Um, I'm ready to go. So um, that's just, I guess, a, a part of my competitiveness and wanting to be out there. Last one from Coley in the front. CC, we talked about this after 3,000, but um, there you are again with Ferguson Jenkins and Bob Gibson. What does it mean to be number three as far as African-American pitchers all time uh, to get to 250? Yeah, that's a huge accomplishment. That means uh, a lot, um, you know, being, you know, African-American pitcher, being, you know, from the inner city and, you know, wanting this game to grow again back in the inner city, um, you know, having a chance to put up these numbers and see some of these kids know that I'm from where they're from. And, you know, I love this game of baseball. Um, hopefully it opens some doors for some, some kids to open their eyes to start playing the game. Thank you, C.